Do you see here? Hi guys and gals. Well, this is going to be take two of a video where I almost dropped the camera the first time. And we're in the old part of town where I had been trying to do uh, up in the hills over there. You can't see it from here, but there's some very steep stairs and there was a geocache that somebody put up. But because we had just so much rain, there's been a lot, lot, lot of mud. And that means that actually uh, it was dangerous to get to it. So I'm going to wait now until it gets dry again. I'm not quite certain if there's a bus stop. There should be a bus stop somewhere around here. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So uh, today is March 1st. It's a rather important day for me. It's been a, a year now that my dad has, uh, has left us gone for a better place as one likes to say and uh, yeah it's uh, kind of hard to to think you know that he's he's not there I mean we uh, I've known it now and of course after a year you've gotten used to the fact but still you know it's a it's a year I put a, a picture on Facebook of him and his dog cart which was really something just me I'm gonna get the bus here So I'm getting into the bus. So, let's see. so I'm in the bus and I've got to get my, I have to get my ticket. Excuse me while I'm doing this. So fair tick. is okay so I've got my ticket and uh, I'm going back like I said from a geocache which was way too dangerous uh, for the mudslides so I would have really had a problem if I had had done that because it was just over a cliff but I really would have liked to have done it but I'll be another time yeah so right now in the bus everybody's wondering what I'm doing but uh, just so I was talking about my dad, yeah. And so there was something where um, it happened, and now all of a sudden I've forgotten what I've talked about it all before. But um, I came across a, a memory of mine where there was uh, uh, the town barber in the 60s. So this is the town of Sutton in Quebec. So the town barber where we used to go, and I used to love going there because he had comic books, and that was really, really good. Now, what happened? is that I just couldn't remember his name. And now normally, what would I have done? I'd have just gone and asked my dad, but he wasn't there, was he? Uh, and I kept getting the wrong name in my head. I knew I was close, but I knew also that it wasn't quite right. I had a name called, uh, oops, it's Cobblestone Road, yeah. So I knew that the guy's name was something like this. I kept getting the name Lacasse in my head, but uh, that, I knew that wasn't right. So I asked my mom, and she couldn't find it either. And we both said, you know, if your dad was here, he'd know it right off. So we ended up, I ended up sending mails to the heritage place, which was made for, for people over there in, uh, in this. Sorry, people are coming in. I'm, um, I'm going to move over a bit. So... Families just came in. And so I kept going on about this guy must be called, uh, oh, some lady decided to just take my seat, okay. Um, yeah, and I knew his name was something like uh, Lacasse, but I knew that wasn't the right name. Finally, I, I, after sending mails, this is going everywhere, isn't it, this vlog, being in the bus like that. We finally got his name through family members, and it was Lacoste, like, you know, like the uh, clothing, um, like the clothing. So with the... Uh, I was very, very close, actually. But you see how, how your memory is. Sometimes you think you've almost got it, but you don't. Over there, by the way, is the way we're coming. It was the pool that way. This is a crazy, crazy vlog today, isn't it? Anyway, so all that to say is that, you know, my dad's away. 
I'm missing him terribly. And all of a sudden there was things like, to, like I said, like this memory this week where uh, you, he's not there. Nobody's there. It's very difficult. I mean, things, so if you have things with your family members, you know, that you really need to talk about or ask or whatever, don't forget when they're gone, they're gone. And it's really hard sometimes. Oh, it's just a little thing. And I mean, we're in the, we're in the bus, so I'm getting up there. Mrs. DC as well, she's getting better. And uh, I guess I'm gonna have to stop because this is really getting to be a little bit crazy. Oh, this is one of these really small buses because we're in the old part of town and they get out of uh, out of there. It can't be a big bus because the roads are just too, too narrow and too windy. Okay, I've been talking way, way too long. But while we're at it, we might as well get all the way to the bus station. Okay. So you're really definitely taking a bus ride with me. <laughs> oh, a lot of things have been cancelled over the way by talking about things going on and weird things happening. You know, with the, uh, the COVID or coronavirus, as you want to call it, there's a lot of um, a lot of things that have been cancelled lately, even around here. I mean, uh, uh, hockey matches and things like that. They're all, all they're not being cancelled, but they're being played actually. Um, uh, with a close, with a close uh, stadium and so on, and the Geneva Auto Salon, is a, it's been, it's also been uh, cancelled. So yeah, I mean it's, uh, it's in the news here, even though we don't have any cases here in town, luckily. Yeah, okay. So DC will be clearly signing off now. So take care, everybody, and hope you're all well on this Sunday. Bye. Uh, I can't find it. I'll get, get the thing in my pocket. Okay. Here we are. So I will be closing it. Signing off. Take care. Bye-bye.